Hello my beauties, I hope you're all well. Thanks for joining me again. It's Paul at Circular Motion, bringing you some more vinyl goodness. And I've got some treats for you today. And we're gonna have a look at some 70 singles. Um, don't forget to check out my other recent videos, including um, a look at some more of my dad's record collection and some of the new stuff that I've just recently got. If you're coming back for more, awesome. I love you. If you're new, you're also awesome. And I love you too please hit the subscribe button that would be immense and please don't forget to tick on my notification bell give it a good old smash to make sure that you keep abreast of your content and for the love of god please hit like and leave me some comments down below because i get lonely here in my fortress of pulchritude so we'll jump straight in seven inch special today so i've got about 10 singles to get through um there doesn't look like a lot there it doesn't look like there's 10 there if you look at that because there's a reason and we shall look at that shortly. So, jumping straight in, and in no particular order, except the order that I did the quick sort of research on them, I've got Matthew's Southern Comfort, with a song that I've heard many times, but didn't realise it was called Woodstock. So yeah, it's called Woodstock, it's on the uni label, B-side is Scion. Um, this is an original 1970 copy, they're not going to reissue it now are they but yeah this is the original pressing and it sounds really nice really really nice um it's in great condition as are the majority of, of my dad's records which is just uh, amazing you know the the um, like the, the other day i did the uh the albums you know and i'm playing albums from like 1968 that sound just like brand new so well done dad um I see where I get my kind of, I'm quite anal about stuff like that, about keeping mm -hmm. things sort of in a, in a decent, decent condition. So, but yeah, anyway, I'm waffling as I like to do. Moving quickly on, uh, what have we got here? Oh, we have The Who on the track like record label. So that won't get fooled again. Just gonna focus in on that one with a B side of, don't know myself this one sounds phenomenal as you know as the other ones do so this one's 1971 it's a uk pressing on track records but on discogs it says it's an export copy so i don't know what that means exactly however one thing and i keep going on about this is that one thing i've noticed is that these records the singles sound so loud you know and, and i still find even though i fully understand like the concept and the mechanics of it all, I still don't understand how records work. I still don't understand how we get from that groove to that sound and then to from that groove to that loud sound. How does that happen? Anyway, I think there is magic involved. So then we have the Rearing Stims on the Decca label. So this is an original 65 pressing. Uh, that's play with fire. It's the B side. The actual A side is the last time, and this has a few little marks on it, but it's in. It sounds, you know, in great condition. You can't when you play it. I mean, there looks to be a big scratch on that one, but I didn't notice it until just then when I when I was showing it to you. Uh, and again, another one that sounds really loud, really powerful. Great sound, great definition on it gonna save those for a little further on then we've got uh, canned heat which is pretty cool so this one is on the road again this is a 68 copy um, 68 pressing this has got that one of those homemade um, covers that my dad seems to have quite a lot of I don't know whether the whole thing is homemade but they've obviously been customised because he's like done a whole um, kidnap ransom note on that side on that one. And there's some kind of tiny little graphic there. I don't know whether it looks like a stamp or something. So Dad, again, if you're watching, stop being lazy and start commenting and letting us know sort of what all these things are. Did you make this? Did you? Or... You know, because I know my auntie, she had quite a lot of them. Francesca, she had quite a lot of stuff like this. Um, so yeah, on the road again with a B-side of World in a Jug, which is actually World in a Ugg because the 
the Jace Fallen off on that one. And again, this, this sounds like it's absolutely brand new. Um, it, it, it blew me away. It sounds so perfect when I, when I, when I played it, you know, and it's like 1968. It's like one year young. No, 1960. No, it's 68. Yeah. So it's like one year younger than I am and it has no right to sound as good as it does. <clears throat> then we've got another Rearing Stones. Congratulations and time is on my side. Now this one, you know, I, I do say that my, my dad's records are usually in excellent condition. This one isn't. There's so much surface noise that I haven't actually played it um, because I put it on and it was just that noisy that I didn't want to damage my my needle or anything so I'm going to give it a clean I mean it is it does look so as you can kind of really see there but it does look a little bit grim so I'm going to give it a clean with my not patented method which I've shared in another video somewhere I'll try and link it but yeah I'm going to give that a go and see if that makes a difference and I'll let you all know in another video so put that there out of the way and we are on to the final few. So, um, because I've got some special ones to show you so that, that I think they're quite special. Um, so we'll go into Prince Bat Dance. Produced, arranged, composed, and performed by the man himself with a B-side 200 balloons. Now, um, it does actually say S cook, so that could either be my sister or my stepmom. I'm not sure, but either way, it's uh, it's it, it sounds really nice, and it's from still the best Batman film ever made. Sorry, uh, Christopher Nolan fans, but I don't really like the Christian Bale trilogy. Michael Keaton is the one true Batman. Hit me up in the comments if you agree or disagree but uh yeah michael keaton all the way so yeah this is is really good you know and uh it, it sounds really nice and it's an original 1989 release without the picture cover sadly that would have been just absolutely swell so that isn't six i know but we've got these so this is this is one on its own so this is the great Great Western Souvenir album. It's sadly, it's had a little bit of a, a mishap in the corner there. Um, and this is Love with Love from Absent Friends in the Probe family. And also from Sound. So this was, um, it's not actually a single, it's a little mini album. It's a little mini Lexi album. So this is phenomenal. And I, I thought, dare I play it? And I thought well, I'll give it a go and it sounds really good again it, it kind of yeah it's not audio file quality but when they can make something like this sound pretty much as as good as something like this then you know when people try and tell you that oh yeah 180 gram vinyl I'm going to charge you another 20 quid they're just taking the piss out of you um, so yeah it's a 33 and a, a third it's double sided although it's only printed on one side um, the actual letters and stuff and it has let me put this back in here because I don't want to damage it it has uh, Gladstone with Marietta Station Soft Rock from Texas uh, Johnny K Walking Blues from Unsung Songs Forgotten Heroes uh, from John K the ex-leader of Stephen Wolf James Gang Madness from Street Shooter more madness from our gang now with new members Roy Kenner and Don Triano then on side two we've got BB King can't you hear me talking to you from LA Midnight? Uh, the King rides again with a cut from his current album. What more can we say? And then we've got Three Dog Night Jam from Harmony, uh, a track from their current album to keep everybody happy until the arrival of Seven Separate Fools with an introduction by some dry sounding dude called Alan Black who says, Hello, I'm Alan Black. and here are some bands that didn't make it to the festival that wanted to say hello. So from absent friends and the probe family, here is this. Listen to it and enjoy. But yeah, I, when I remember Room of Kurt and one of the records that I did have was, that my dad had given me was a, a flexi disc and it was Monty Python 
and it was there's something by election on one side you've got no votes at all on the sausage bugger off i remember that and then on the b side or on the a side i can't remember which it was the lumberjack song which was just you know brilliant stuff fast forward to my teens i did have another flexi single which i sold when i got rid of all my vinyl back when everything kind of went out of favor and cd rose to prominence and that was a queen works sampler which I really regret for it of because it added just a fantastic medley of, of every track off the works album, it was just like little snippets all in one track. Um, and it started off at Radio Gaga and, and ended with a ping from Is This World We Created. So yeah, sad times, but anyway, we've got some more treats here. So yeah, I pulled this out and thought, oh, what's that? And then thought, so I found these before I found that one. So, um, Let's go with, this one is The Faces. So this was a New Musical Express um, giveaway. And these are all on Discogs, bizarrely. So uh, that Great Western one, that was 1972. This, The Faces one is 74. So on one side, we've got Fly in the Ointment, My Fault, Borstal Boys, Silicon Grown, and Ooh La La. And it's, so it's at 33 and a third again. And on the B side, we've got The Dishevelment Blues and they they sound phenomenal absolutely phenomenal you wouldn't think something like that you can maybe hear it you wouldn't think that something like that would yield such a decent sound um in fact i don't know whether i dare dare play some i don't want to get a copyright strike but let's see let's see if we can just uh do it you won't be able to hear much but you won't be able to hear how decent the sound is because you're on the YouTube. So, a little bit of surface noise. As much as I dare play, because I don't want to get knackered by the whole YouTube police. But yeah, I mean, wow. So that's one. Let me slowly slide that into there. Shit. Then we got. Sounds presents from Polydor's the guitar album. Uh, this has got Sweet Sixteen by King and Hosea, so it's BB King. Uh, the Ox, Townsend, Hopkins, Moon, and Entwistle. Um, uh, B side, Let It Rain by Clapton and Bramlett. And then we've got the Bullfrog Blues, traditional arrangement by the inimitable Rory Gallagher. Um, sadly, I don't know if you can see, I haven't played this one because there is just a slight little dent. There, you can maybe see it there. Slight little dent. Um, and I'm not sure how that would translate, so I didn't want to sort of damage anything. Then we've got another... Oh, this isn't the sounds giveaway. This is just a Polydor giveaway. Uh, and this is a Barclay James Harvest on this side from the album Everyone is Everybody Else, and that's Negative Earth. That sounds really nice. There is a little um, sort of finger mark, like a, a little crescent there. But this, I'll give you a quick blast of this too. Right strike. This 
one with a little bit tricky to get off because it's got some sticky tape over the hole there on that side. So on the B side, we've got Rare Bird from the album Born Again, and that's Diamonds. So I've not heard of Rare Bird, and I'm sure there's a reason for that. Then we've just done that one, and then the final one to share is Alice Cooper. Oh, we've actually got an Alice Cooper again presented with NME. So this one is from 1973. So the B side is Slick Black Limousine, and on the so the A side is Slick Black Limousine. The B side is Unfinished Sweet. Um, elected no more mr nice guy billion dollar babies and i love the dead so you know that's on that side and slick black limousine is on that side and that is amazing totally amazing and you know i looked at them and thought oh they're knackered they're not going to play because they look quite tiny i don't think you can kind of see they look a little bit mottled and everything but i mean this is in perfect condition so this has been in existence since 1972 and look at it it's brilliant and i'm going to try and play this one why not why not, why not? let's have a quick uh, a quick blast so again it's a 33 and a third so this one sounds a lot Okay, you know, don't own the copyright, not trying to make any money out of it, not selling it, just just showing it to people. So YouTube, please don't penalise me. So yeah, um, what a treat. So thanks, Dad. Um, kind of thing now where I'm going to try and keep my eye out for, for, for more of these just every now and again on eBay. I might have a look, see if I can get, get a few more kind of thing that, you know, I mean, these are little pieces of history. If for nothing else, I don't think, you know, I don't buy magazines these days, but enemy sounds, um, they're, they're not around anymore. Um, so these are little pieces of history, of, of UK history, uh, of UK music history, and of music history in general. Um, so yeah, brilliant. So that, that is everything I have for you today. Uh, thank you for sticking with me and, and listening to my waffle. It could be that when you listen to this, there's some gaps there because YouTube take out the, the music. I don't know. I'm hoping not. There's no DRM on these. Like, you know, on some things now they have it sort of built in and it picks up automatically. So I'm hoping that we don't we don't fall foul of anything like that because this is proper old school. And I have seen Michael Fremer put Tommy on. He did a needle drop on Tommy, played his original copy uh, just to show how, you know, Records don't really wear over time if you if you look after them. And he didn't get penalised and he didn't get removed. So I'm hoping that, that we, we don't fall foul of any any issues. But anyway, I'm waffling. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'll be coming back again soon with some more albums, some more 12-inch goodness uh, from my dad's collection. And obviously I hope to buy some new records too. I'm not just like going through all the old stuff uh, but in the meantime stay safe uh, thanks for joining me keep buying records keep listening to records and keep watching my channel awesome take care see you soon